School districts with teachers saying they're struggling with a heavy workload and calling for more pay have experienced high levels of resignations. And it's an issue KXAN investigators have been highlighting for a while now. And now the Austin Independent School District is taking some steps to help teachers find more affordable housing. KXAN education reporter Nabil Ramadna shows us not only plans to help, but also what they're doing in the future. It can cost you quite a bit to live in Austin. We want our teachers to be able to live where they work. With rent averaging about $1,600 a month, that can be tough on teachers. That's why Austin ISD oh, no, and the sorry. Austin Apartment Association have created a directory to connect teachers with apartment offering deals. They can search by area of town, by the type of apartment, so one bedroom, two bedroom. Only teachers and staff in AISD are eligible for these deals, which include reduced rent, waived deposits, and free parking at about 60 communities. Once on the site, you can click on a property to see what they're offering. Some teachers have said these deals aren't enough and that salaries have to increase even more. But there are other ways that we can create these partnerships to bring employees monthly costs down, then we want to do that. It's Another project includes the Anita Ferales Coy facility, which will one day become housing. So our focus is building high quality, attainable housing. AISD says they'll lease the property to a developer who will run the site. Teachers and staff will have priority access to affordable homes, but the development will be open to anyone who qualifies. At the end of the day, though, it's your income that qualifies you, not your employer. And our partner will be the one who operates and manages the housing. The district says they hope to find a developer in June. All these efforts that we're doing around housing are by no means to replace uh, the need to increase compensation. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. And Austin ISD is also looking to add housing to the Rosedale School site and Sims Elementary site.